Amidst the whining from both the director and the three fans that the Ghostbusters 2016 film has, Sony has decided to cave in to their demands and they have included into the Ultimate Ghostbusters box set the 2016 film. Now, if you are one of those that pre-ordered this box set and you are a little worried that they might insert there the physical copy of the 2016 crap fest for your enjoyment even though we all know watching that crap is not really enjoying anything but torture rest assured that is not going to be the case at least that, that film is not going to be defacing your beautiful box set oh no sir of course not it's not going to happen like that but uh, there is for sure going to be an insertion of this film there is going to be a slip paper inserted into this box set with a code that you can later on use to redeem the 2016 crap fest like i said for your enjoyment of course we all know that however that is not any enjoyment at all it is just a terrible pain and torture just having to stand that film once again the companies gave in to the demands of the few and it's something really baffling if you ask me because i really don't understand why this is coming from or at least i i may have an idea of why this is coming but also where it's coming from and why they are trying to do it if you remember back in the day when the 2016 film was released and maybe even a little bit before its release date the director Paul Fig stated and never got tired of reassuring everyone that this was in no way, shape or form associated to the original 1984 film. And of course, if it is not associated to that film, it is for sure not related to its sequel, of course, and we all know that. But he made it his job to make it clear for everyone that this film was not associated to the original, that it was not a continuation, that it was a reboot, a totally new thing, and that it was sort of restarting the franchise in its own right, making it the first one, and so far the only one, in that new franchise. So for me, at least, it stands to reason that it is not included in an ultimate box set collection when we are talking about the original franchise, for example. It's just logical for me that they might want to add that to a different collection. Maybe an old Ghostbusters collection that includes not only this, but also the series, for example, the animated show. Or a different standalone franchise. Unfortunately for those fans of that crap, it's the only one so far and we can only hope that it is the only one ever because it was that terrible. So when the director makes it a point to get his panties in a twist and go ranting like a maniac all over social media complaining that his idiotic film is not included, it makes no sense and of course any sensible company would have just paid no attention to that shite and forgotten all about it. <laughs> not when Sony is involved, of course, and they have decided to tell everyone that there is going to be this slip pipe with this code that you can redeem later on. Now, if you are like me and you have cancelled your pre-order because you are a person of principle, kudos to you and my admiration as well. A round of applause because you are a person that does not get sold out for anything and i think that is the thing that everyone that complains about it is trying to make a point of it's not about this paper it's not that you are not going to pay for it because you really aren't going to pay for it they are not going to charge extra for this slip paper with the code 
it's just a matter of principle that movie was supposed to be outside the franchise that movie was supposed to be a different sort of film and uh, spawn a different franchise it didn't happen but that was the intention so why would you include it into this one as well it's just like saying you're going to have the ultimate karate kid collection and you're going to have there the four original movies with pat morita you know and also you're going to include the three seasons that we have so far of cobra kai and also you're going to include there the will smith jr <laughs> thing that he had with jackie chan it doesn't make sense because it's a different franchise because it's a reboot because it's, it was trying to restart a new karate kid sort of thing so it doesn't make any sense at all it's the same here this movie has no place in this so that sony say okay okay don't worry we're going to include your movie don't get your pants in a twist and don't get angry at us or cancel us and they do that the very same shite and force fans to have something that they don't really want well in that case they have no principle but i do so then they won't be getting my money in any way shape or form and many others have said the same and i can only congratulate them for having principles and having opinions of their own and also for not allowing themselves to be bought by an idiotic company even when they are offering something this great and beautiful simply because they don't want something and if they don't want that and anyone is trying to force it on them it's on those people really nobody should feel ashamed or sad or angry that they are canceling this pre-order because it's what they deserve companies like sony in this case people like paul fig melissa mccarthy all those people that were involved with that film those are the people that should be cancelled because they did the worst thing possible to the franchise because they had the meanest intentions with this film because that film also intended to mock the franchise the fans and in a way also humiliated the original cast by forcing them according to contract to appear in the film and many people say well but the original cast was there so it should also be included people those actors didn't even play their counterparts from the original franchise <laughs> they were cameos interpreting other characters it's just like having stan lee you know he's not playing the same character over and over in all those cameos that he's making it's a different character every single time just like that this film should not be included because it is not part of the franchise but also because it did not care and the director didn't care to respect the original and as for me they have lost me by including this idiotic paper it's just a piece of paper you can throw it away sure enough but i am not going to let my principles be trampled upon i am a man of principle and that is something that you should have very clear here on this channel and maybe that is why i don't have many followers because i stand but what i believe and i do not allow anyone to trample upon what i believe in anyways that is just my opinion let me know your opinion down below in the comments and also let me know if you are still interested in buying this box set even though it's going to be including this slip paper with the code for the ghostbusters 2016 film or if you are like me and you just want to be done with it because it is not something that your principles allow let me know your opinion because it is always important to know what you all think until next time Peace out.